So, we're back in line. Let me close get here quickly. So, we're back online. Our colonists are here still rallied. So, I'm going to dismiss them now. Allow them to get home. Let me just look away. That should help them. Um. Hi Ingertan, hi Minecraft Shirley. So, hello and welcome everyone to another Mine Colonies Let's Play with the developer stream. Um, Sam Adams is not here yet, but he's probably going to come on in the process the video stream again. I actually had planned to put on a brand new version with a brand new ton of fixes and improvements, but... I tried to play build system for 40 minutes and had a lot of fun <laughs> without being able to actually finish the job so tomorrow we're going to play with a new version then. Um, I'm sorry that yesterday unfortunately we were not able to stream it was because I am going to have training from now on every Saturday around exactly the same time so Saturday is going to be our day off and we're going to be streaming Sunday through Friday which is still pretty good I think um, one of the so a bunch of these fixes like I said are going to come in that's going to include for once the fix of the lumberjack then it's going to include all the things I had been discussing about. We talked about adding a research to have the miner not getting burdened by lava. A research to have the crusher more efficient. And a research to allow the plantation to handle two crops at the same time. And then a bunch of other little fixes to improve the game. Including a bunch of texture fixes as well which are going to have to wait for tomorrow including the upload to curse I'm going to have to up wait until tomorrow because most likely we're going to have to update forge as well and which is another totally other can of worms to open so let us check what Jennifer is up to here Weekends again. Huh. We need cauldrons again. Not like we have a lot of iron left. Oops. <laughs> Let me check if we can request some iron ingots again. Do we have this? No. I guess we will have to get our pickaxe out and go for some little bit of mining at the beginning of this episode so that we have actually the iron we are going to need for this episode. Let me just go down at the other edge of the colony where it is not completely emptied out. Talking about fixes, I also fixed the miner bug not mining the ores in the walls. That's also going to be fixed in that new version. So, let's start here actually already. And, whoop. Get some of this here. Great. While we continue going down here. Trying to not miss any iron on the way. Yes. And he left the iron all out. So that's great for us. So we can have it quicker mining all the iron here out. That he left around the shaft. Just equip some torches. It's going to be easier for me to find all the bits of iron here around. Um, so 
that's coal. I actually want iron. Come. Do you have some iron here on the wall somewhere? Coal. Only torches. Be lighting up the area here a little bit more. More coal. I kinda guess he actually ended up mining the iron flame. I right hear some addons just joined as well. Um I don't think I that uh <laughs> some addons. Are our citizens affect by beacons affected? I don't think uh, so. Uh not sure, maybe by some. Uh, I think some beacon effects might have effects on citizens, but I'm yeah we're not entirely sure about that, and about which ones either. That would have to be tested out more thoroughly, probably. There we go. I'm gathering a little bit of iron because we're out, and the citizens not all need those cauldrons. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Okay, I was just trying to build a new version char, but that didn't go as expected. <laughs> because all the forge version update on the structure rise size and these kinds of things. Uh, yeah, it takes quite some time. Quite some time, it's 40 minutes playing the whole system right now. 40 minutes, I was getting, going insane here. <laughs> Hi yeah, Irish Jeff. It's fun. <laughs> so much fun, so much fun is there to be. Usually there. when I have to build some stuff, I'm importing the new stuff I need. And then go AFK, do something else for an hour or so. <laughs> yeah, but the, the worst <laughs> part was that it, like, so I finished. And then I started Minecraft, which also needs its time every time. And then Minecraft told me, you don't have to write Forge version. So kind of delete build folder yeah. completely. <laughs> Start oh. over. Still doesn't work. Why? You have to regain the IntelliJ runs. Oh. So, so did that, done that, been there. <laughs> Fun. Um, oh on other news, the some of the emojis for Twitch were finished. So you guys should be able to start using them already. Um, however, the number is currently limited. Because for affiliates, there's like some number limit, some number of subscribers limits the number of emojis we can have and i think at the moment that is like two for level one subscribers and then an additional one for each level but that is it's better than nothing definitely though yeah um and my the guy who's working on the icons he finished a few of them and it's going to probably finish the remaining one in the coming weeks going to have some high school exams now to attend so and as a future professor it would be not very responsive to tell him ah high school exams don't matter <laughs> Hey, as far as I read, partners have a much um, lower limitation actually for the emoji thing. Like, it's limited as well, but you can have like for some really easy to get things, you can get more, much more emojis. But yes, for everyone it's limited, but it's much more limited for affiliates than it is for partners. Which makes sense. Um, I'm getting some iron here. Actually, running through the mine shaft. Oops. There. 
What is the best building order to start a, col uh, a new colony? That is always a relatively good question. And it depends on like what you actually want to achieve. I think personally a good way to start is probably going with uh, builder level 1, fisherman level 1, if you have a source of water next to you. Um, and lumberjack and then a miner um, then build uh, meanwhile then build a tavern build a level one citizen hut get another get another builder upgrade everything to level two and then start getting guards and then hospitals and these kinds of things. <laughs> and Gia wrote in chat, it's builder, guard tower, guard tower, guard tower, hospital. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can make guard towers early since you get uh, new citizens for them already. Uh, you can, it's probably, um, probably good to build a guard tower early on because you can assign a citizen to it. And get another citizen then to live in the building hut. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah, once you've built a tab tavern you on our house, the tavern, so then. you get new ones. Yeah, you need a tavern first. Ouch. Ouch. Whoa! Oh! Oh, I love when a skeleton is shooting at me. Wow. Shooting like a blind man at the moment. What's happening? <laughs> you need to hit the skeleton. <laughs> I need to hit the skeleton. What was that? Uh, here we go. Is there some kind of aim enchantment for bows? <laughs> <laughs> there was some kind of mod where I saw that already, though. Was it a mod or was it? No, it was on high pixel. I think there was something you could use to get bigger, better aim, basically. Like it's more like a homing arrow, so the arrow kind of goes after. After his target, yeah. The creepers blowing up all here. I thought I had 64 torches in my inventory and I'm gone with torches. I guess I was wrong. Though I have a stack of iron now so I'm going to teleport back. There we go. Oh, I, I updated my Discord sounds and these kinds of things a little bit. So you should be able to hear some add-ons a bit better now. <laughs> nice. Um, we just dump that stuff and then bring the smell to the iron so he can produce a bunch of iron quickly for us. Should probably upgrade his hut already because that will give us a chance for triple right away. In the future, and that is definitely worth it. What is today then? Okay, already put it in. Uh -huh. Let me dump this stuff in the warehouse quickly, and then I am going to ask our cook nicely for a bit of food. Is I'm our cook still still uh, showing as a child? Oh, I'm unsure. I didn't check that. Um, it's fine now. Let me check out our cook. That's a good question. Indeed, he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, better not. Gwen still looks like a child. This is not child labor. This is <laughs> a bug, not a feature. <laughs> It's uh, just uh, someone with uh, no, 
no, who's on my wall. Yeah, we want to do. He's a nether, but not very big. Yeah. How's we the work to be going? More inclusive. Yeah, it's fully intended. Fully intended, fully. Okay. Um, we got that going. Um, am I too impatient now checking on this smelter? What do you have to? How long is the smelting needing? A while? Okay. Now actually this stone mason is, is a dwarf. Our cook is... Not. Okay, let us check then how Barnaby is doing. Still at level 5 citizen hunt. Uh -huh. I'm really happy about this bridge. I think it turned out very neatly. Get a bunch more iron. I would actually put it a little bit deeper probably. I still kind of weirded out by Frostwalker every time I walk on water. <laughs> I'm like expecting to swim and then I uh, not. Yeah. But when I jump in, then I swim and I expect to not. Okay, so let's get started. Kind of weird. Yeah, it's a bit weird. But it's f it's frost walker and not frost jumper, right? Yeah. Doesn't ah frost walker two just increases the radius, right? Was there frost walker two? Not sure. Yes. Maybe does it cause that you can jump in the water and it freezes, or just is it just the radius? I'm sure as well, probably. <laughs> Do you guys know? What's the advantage of Frostwalker 2? Oh wow. The level 3 enchanter building is kinda... Another 27 bookshelves. <laughs> Didn't you guess I'm more bookshelves? We have a bunch of books still, yes. So I have at least books for 60 for, for another stack of bookshelves. It was really worth raiding the stronghold for books. Yeah. For everyone, just raid. You need end stuff anyway for mine colonies, so just raid that stronghold library. Yeah. All built like three cowboys. Okay. It's your gold. What's it today, Dan? Cactus here. That is still under upgrade. Let us check the other things out. Could upgrade the Fletcher. It's not so important right now. Let's see what kind of other buildings are currently not under upgrade or construction. You could also build an archery. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Because you also need that for the double arrow research. Mm, true. That is a good one too. So that yeah. our ray archers can shoot me with two arrows in the bag while I'm fighting. Just don't get in their way with their fighting. Archery, three bows. Yeah, that we have definitely in the warehouse. Oh, I have. Wait. Do you have two? I only need two. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's one too much. I don't want that one. <laughs> you take it. I wanted to make the research, research and noticed we don't have an archery. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do it too already, but I also noticed that we don't have an archery. Okay. Oh, that's very useful. Thanks, Ingerton. And what what just happened?
Do I have are the arteries invisible because of Optifine? If anyone wonders, it's Optifine's fault. Please report this to Optifine. Not to us. Please. I need a bed. Into the town hall. There we go. I'm going to blaze down this archery. Um, here we go. So, there we go. Now, the build tool. I don't think that we have any desert area where we could place that, right? Mm, maybe that's a gato in the desert. Yeah, I just wanted the same thing here. Maybe it would fit here. Archery, then it's sandstone. Else, uh, at least in the um, other part of the colony we're going to have. Okay, that one is rather long. I'm unsure that fits here at all. Yeah, it definitely does not. Nope. Yeah, we don't have much space now anymore. And that one is huge. Does it maybe fit here like close enough to the wall? Nope. Um, um, that is called an asynchronous request. Hi, Salzstange. We call, or at least we call it an asynchronous request because it's non-blocking. Like it doesn't block the citizen if he doesn't, he or she doesn't have that item. Oh, you have multiple accounts for Twitch. Ah, Captain Salt. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess it would be an Acacia style. So it's, it's very surprisingly the Acacia style in this case is actually smaller than the one of the sandstone style. The archery the sandstone archery is absolutely massive. Okay, I think this here sound, it looks like a good spot. Let me just check out the rotation of it. We got seemingly the main opening here. Oh no, that is more like a little house thingy. Bathroom, yeah, it's a bathroom. <laughs> So, where's the entry here? That's the question. Some John here to tell me where the entry is. John! Okay. So, at least I saw one door at this side. Um, I didn't see a door at that side here. So, this is definitely not it. And let me check out the other side quickly. Maybe there's a door here. There's this little path here to enter. That could be considered like an entryway. But yeah, I think that looks like a good... I'm di a disconnect from Discord. Okay. Um... Back, I'm back. I'm back, yes. Oh, it just killed a few things here. I don't know what happened. My computer is having a lot of fun with me today, too. Okay. 
I think this is probably the best possible placement we can do. Doesn't interfere with anything either. Besides like half of the lumberjack tree farm. But that that should be okay. There we go. Then we can here build and build building. Hi Aris, welcome back. Mm, not a lot. I was talking a little bit about the um, recent fixes etc we've added and we're unfortunately not able to play with today because the build system is still down if it's going to be down more than one other day I'm going to make an emoji about that <laughs> hi Carmen from Spain how are you doing I guess we st we don't have a miner. Don't think so. Didn't I add like an emoji for that? No. I can't use my own emojis. That's, Did that's you add a Shaka box emoji? <laughs> like yeah. one with a question question mark? No, it's because the emojis are limited, so I created uh, yeah. some raid emojis. That's great for you, Carmen. Especially when you want to exchange information on the internet. Unfortunately, English is the main language for that. I'm fine, and you. Okay. So... Those things seem to be running fine. I think my smelter should be fine now. Yeah, yeah. That smelter should have now way enough iron ingots. Either at his hut or the little man picked it up and it's in the warehouse. So let me double check first. Yes, sir. Oh yes, in the inventory still a little bit of it. And here. Okay. But enough so I can go there. That is kind of weird. Ah, now the little bit man is coming to pick it up. <laughs> Just the moment I went there. I did, didn't, didn't I? That's weird then. Because I, I did add that in the Twitch setting stuff. Maybe they have like a process that they have to review those for a few days before enabling them. Or maybe it was just... In my colony it's 3 o'clock right now here. 3, 10, 11, 12... Yes, sir! Here we go. Yay! She's happy. 1520 okay and your country a red colony here is uh, 915 oh that sounds nice I definitely would have definitely have to review the code and I can check if I can check that out tomorrow can I have this university project to finish still and this C++ things I'm traumatized about. But it's progressing. It's progressing. It's not very encouraging when I ask if, uh, some coder friends if they... Uh, what Do you know any multi-threading things in C++? And they're like, no, I don't like to suffer. <laughs> At least, like, I'm I'm getting to know the things of C++. And, like, my major problem seems to be that so much changes between versions of C++ is when you, like, a lot of the guides you find are, like, already totally outdated and not... But they didn't remove them because it's still valid for the old version. It seems like a lot of C++ developers are, like, Minecraft players. 
that like no I have to continue playing in 1.7.4 for forever because that's the only true modded Minecraft yeah so that these guys kind of guides kind of have to stick around for people who would want to play in these old versions and it's code probably because of yes old software where people don't want to rewrite it yeah that's also probably a reason although i never s saw that with java like when you search for java stuff usually it there's also not stuff where it's like usually in the guides it in the guides it says like uh in java 7 you would do that and then java 8 you would then start doing that but in yeah. c++ guides it's like it's like that and then you write on stack overflow a question and says like if you do that in c++ 14 that's a major red flag <laughs> but like oh thanks great to know that nice and then you then version 11 and then you search like how do you take time in c++ and says it's the best way to take time is to check the uh, the clock iterations actually of the processor oh i disconnected again um, you check the processing time of the processor and then someone tells you yeah but that does not work multi-threaded you don't need more multi-threading at all just use more servers <laughs> just why hor why scaling vertically if you can scale horizontally for three times the cost <laughs> multi-core cpus who invented that i mean if you got a server with 32 cores or so you can just make it run 32 programs and you don't need more multi-threading yeah i can just create 32 virtual machines in the box and you run see it's over. yeah yeah that, that sounds like a good solution like that's there's totally no overhead there. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think the worst <laughs> thing that exists is like maintaining old code with old hardware. I think that is like the worst punishment for any coder. It's like decently yeah. paid, but it's like like it hurts so much already just porting back all the times the things. But I can't imagine that actually no what is your suggestion captain i think i saw it but i'm not 100 percent sure i've read it actually i i think he wants me to buff raiders he wants to to you wanted to make uh, raiders stronger yay another level five citizen that is finished who was it? Jenny. So what are you going to start now, Jenny? Hmm. Smelter? Let me push up Smelter the list quickly. Our, our restaurant has no food anymore. Um, smeltery. Yeah, Doesn't he? Bad. Let me let me just try something. I'm going to try to fire and rehire him. So Gwen, ciao Gwen, uh -huh. welcome back Gwen. Gwen is still a kid. How's the work going? <laughs> I can help, I and guess. And I kind of have a not, feeling not good enough for you, that it. being a kid kind of has a negative effect on his working ethics. <laughs> Hi, Stro Tyler, welcome back. Definitely, those fireworks not, were not just for you. for you. Welcome back to the stream. We've been waiting a long time for you to come. Just actually had everything halted here. Yeah, he's not. There's no food in the restaurant. He's not requesting any. Not even requesting. Yeah. <coughs> what are you? 
I kind of have a feeling that he has the child AI as well, somehow. We can check. Graphene. Embassy, citizens, <laughs> info. No. Oh, that list is too long. I'm going to let you check. <sighs> and Gwen? Oh, it's... Look at without moving go. Without that moving. is not very useful. Wonder? That's kind of weird. That seems like a kid. I think it's a kid AI, isn't it? Nah, that's a uh, vanilla one. I think it's uh, the Wonder AI. Oh, now he has child AI. He, he's actually he actually is a kid that's assigned and assignable to the. That is that is like. That is probably one of the weirdest bugs I've ever ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Must have for some reason kept child back and be assigned him somehow. No, no yeah. actually, the, the weird part of this is that Gwen is an old time citizen in the in the colony. Yeah, it's uh, he, citizen number four. And he he was yeah he's like very old citizen and he 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 was an adult when we assigned him. I don't know why he and how he went back to being a kid. Oh, um, um, <laughs> yeah, no idea. This is just How's the work going? so weird. Maybe the backup loading and some stuff. Hey, I'm kind of thinking that maybe the backup loading, the loading of the backup, but he's also not growing up, which is also kind of weird. What's it today, yeah. Dan? And he's also, ah, uh, yeah. I just crashed. <laughs> I went on page three of his citizens, which was one of the oh. bugs I wa bug fixes I wanted to upload today. Yeah. And good luck I didn't because Fortune didn't want me today. <laughs> At least he has got so yes, he's a long time cook. He has great stats for being a cook. I don't know. I he's can't a hire him at uh, school either. Yes, that's it's it's, like... I think something added this I eat AI to him and it's not removing it anymore. Yeah, but we added on restart new depending on the child flag. It's it's weird. We get. And I think the I I is checking itself it's if it's still reflect as child. Yeah. Hi Twitchcraft, how are you doing? Welcome to our stream. Just had a minor hiccup with a little crash. We're going to be right back. Maybe he accidentally falls down the ravine. Hi Luna. Are you the Luna or are you a Luna? What a question to ask, right? <laughs> uh, just a matter of seconds, hours, hopefully not. <laughs> Okay, we loaded up. Great. Let me disable the screen so I can type in the password. Would not be so helpful sharing that on the internet. And there we go, online. Uh, it's because um, the main <laughs> um, builder admin of our server is also her nick is also luna she also uploads videos to our youtube channel so that's why i always if there's a luna maybe it's their luna <laughs> but what do you mean with the thoughts of citizens to... in this regard oh. well. are you able to kind of so. get gwen to do something no, I hired a different one. I fired our miner. <laughs> <laughs> Eating is more important than so, dying in a mine. So Gwen is unemployed and a kid. 
You say he's unemployed. Looks like a kid. Has kid AI. Has a kid flag. But you can assign him as non kid. When level four citizens. So embassy can citizens um, reload four. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And then maybe recall it another time. Node when hitting him. Oh, this is not child abuse. He's an adult. He's just faking it. I can help you with that. Yeah. Oh, when is a minor now? Yeah, I hired him as minor. If he dies in lava, it's solved too. He's actually going to. He's actually going down as a minor. I'm. This is so confusing on so many levels. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to say anything about this. I'm going to completely forget that it happens. Yeah, same. <laughs> do, do you know like the Star Wars Christmas special? That's like Gwen being a minor. Doesn't exist. Never happened. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Ah, you mean those, not those thoughts, but you mean those um, messages they have when you click on them. Um, we do have some plans on uh, more central handling, although my <gasps> general idea is to not have especially those interactions, because those interactions are supposed to be only at the citizen. Because in the future we're going to add quests, and these kinds of things so that's going to be would be a bit too overpowered um, no chop levels do not reset anymore Salmas for a while already um, in the new system you can see here can those stats there's no chop level anymore there is like a combined calculated chop level based on the stats a citizen has so, for example, Yasmin is gun. Where did Yasmin go? Okay, yes, Ryan sir. is a researcher. So the main skill of researcher is knowledge and mana. And so the research level is basically knowledge plus mana. And those stay always the same. So if you assign him to a different shop, that also needs knowledge and mana, he's also going to be good at that job. We thought that this is maybe a more realistic way to handle that. The game sounds are a little bit too high, no problem. Can tune them down a bit. There we go. Yes, they're only stats now. And yeah, at the moment, this is like I said, the combined level. But... Yeah, they do get XP from working to level up their stats. Okay, now I'm getting mixed messages because just someone said that finally he can hear some add-ons, but now you're saying he's too loud. We have to decide on one of those two. Yes. You think? No, that doesn't make it much easier, Captain. <laughs> okay. Um. What What did our builder end up picking up as a task anyway? Uh, splitter. Splitter. So Captain Salt doesn't like you. He said you have to be quiet. <laughs> Yes. Okay. <laughs> so it's stone bricks. Um, Wahoo! Really... This looks fantastic. What's next? Let me get that in our base quickly. Okay, Ingerton says you're good. You're fine. So you, you're lucky. <laughs> hey, a lot of our workers are coming to the restaurant right now. Thankfully, we have a new cook taking care of that. Bricks. Yeah, oh, should so work on. Stone bricks. Uh, you're supposed to feel bad because I'm sure some Vedans is deeply hurt now. 
I'm going to make pirates ten times as strong. He's, he's going to code that if the nickname is I love the Captain Salt, he's going to I'm get two pirate enough? ships instead of Watch one. Watch me. What's it today? Oh, five. Then? Five is good. Five. Five. It's five. Did you hear that? Um, how about the master volume should tune them down a little bit so I reduce that a little bit further uh, 10 times would be over exaggerated like five five ships already completely mess up everything like no chance to recover 10 ships would just cause lags for the other players <laughs> Every single night, Captain. Every single night. So I'm going to destroy the spawners of the fifth ship. You're going to get another five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not good enough for you, huh? Um, do I have some cobble with me? I don't. Let me get some cobblestone. We can make some axes for our lumberjack. Speaking of specific code, sometimes our coders stumble of some of our old code because we actually have some code in our in mine colonies that insults um, mm. Peter Marble, which was the guy who used to build our schematics. Um. If he tries to place down um, silverfish blocks, because back in the days, yes, maybe some of you guys will remember, the number one reported issue we got on GitHub was silverfish blocks into our buildings. <laughs> I don't know how, but somehow he was able to put in any building a silverfish block somehow. <laughs> oh, we could make silverfish blocks into our Silence. <laughs> Into what? Pirate ships. <laughs> you mean like silverfish spawners? And no, any block you mine there spawns some silverfish. <laughs> so you can't build through them anymore and have to go all the way. <laughs> that, that sounds a little bit too too difficult. Okay, let well, him. Is Barnaby still working on the citizen level five hat? Kind of feel like Barnaby is sick or something like this. Is not. It's not to be progressing a lot. Let me see. Uh, are you Wanna sick or are you hungry? We raise work, work. Hungry. Okay, I'm going to bring you some. F give you some food, Barnaby. What's next? Here. So yeah, we got a bunch of hungry citizens not doing anything at the moment. Yeah. Oh, raiders won't spawn silverfish. That's a great thing. Oh, I could spawn some when a raider dies. And what do you mean by rally to for all citizens? Like a recall all in the town hall with an item? Or like the rally, rally troop item but for all citizens but it's just temporarily until they notice that they're still sitting there you see they're gone already probably have to separate those a little bit more so it should prevent them from getting stuck actually yeah I, I did see it I did see it actually um mm -hmm. yeah yeah let me see then how Jennifer is doing with the smelter upgrade yeah I, I think it would not be very easy to integrate that into all citizens to to stay somewhere put but I guess you mean that like you can take your citizens to a safe house or something what like that. It? 
We got the delivery men bringing in some deliveries. Oh, um, everyone um, else dum, dum. is at the restaurant waiting for food. Yeah, just uh, bought her some uh, of the stuff in the warehouse. Uh -huh. So I have her? food now. Okay, great. Barnaby is back to working. That's what matters. I'm barely out of food myself. I can't. I know that the cutter, the cook is going to be ready with some fresh food soon, so that I can keep those potatoes for munching myself. I wondered who was jumping around up there. Wandering traders are not welcome in our c colony. Do you hear that? We should make put some signs outside on our walls. I'm going to put signs outside. Wandering traders are less welcome than pirates. Do you hear that? <laughs> yeah, true. We should probably add something that um, on recall to the town hall during a raid, citizens will stay put. That probably makes sense. Okay, that tree is not affected in the area. Let me see with which one we can help actually. I guess I didn't get the beehives when I broke them. That's a pity. Yeah, I think you need to catch for that. I'm not a big fan of trading in Minecraft at the moment in general. I think the big thing is really like player player trading, which I think Minecraft could enable a bit more on servers instead of actually going with all this wandering trader stuff, etc. Ah, close the gates when a raid is happening. And we could have maybe instead of that, have actually the um the book give off something. So you could you could maybe use a comparator on the ancient tome to get that. I think that would be probably a neat addition. Yeah, I think so too. So you could kind of close your gates automatically with a comparator on the engine tome somehow i don't know how easy it is with the with that though maybe some kind of block that gives you the signal you craft with the engine tome that would be pretty easy to do and that would then give off a signal every time a raider spawns and you can then use that the lectern yeah but um, the question is if the lectern gives me ability to return a redstone signal for that that is the the question I'm having and I, I doubt so that we can use that to do that raiders are coming hey, no space. and it's desert raiders I heard the music so let me go to sleep quickly. Just wasted a little bit of time. Uh, we could have, like, if we have a specific block for that, it would be easy to have to register those blocks to the colony and then tell a guard to go there and trigger the block. Uh, the raid emotes are ready, but I don't know why Twitch didn't add them yet. So I will have to look into that after the, the stream. Do not halt the stream midstream. So I got my item here to get my raiders. So where are they? Where was it? No Northwest. Northwest. And I'm southwest. Yeah. 
Did you see them? Did you find them? Not yet. Oh, I see them. They're coming up our mountain from north. So they're going to... I think this is... I need to rally my army already. Top of the mountain. Ah, on top of our mountain. Yeah. God damn it! I'm on the wrong mountain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually. Ex oh no! I've got no health and no food. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm coming. Like... Ah, too late. Okay, come here. Come here, guards. Ow, that hurt. Don't do that. Wait, no. Okay. Oh. Ow, that hurt. Just stung a little. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Okay, I guess they are now like in the middle of the colony somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm seeing them down there. a little bit you can you citizens can do this I'm seeing a bunch of guards running around here <laughs> ah, now you see it. Wait, no. Wait, no. Stop it. okay got one of them here bunch of our ra rangers died again. So our rangers yeah. are a little bit squishy. We have to find a better way to handle them. Like put really put them on the towers. And the rangers die a lot. I also noticed that. So maybe we need to find a better way to handle that. Not only in code but like in our colony to put them on little towers around the colony or on the towers actually around the colony that one stung a little Ow. what can i do for you i guess natasha you did yes, everything you could do already i would say you just killed the raider <laughs> I guess we do need to make a bunch more shields for our colonists as well. Yeah. Let me take care. I know I need to dump some of my stuff first. One raider is still left. Somewhere. One, one raider is still left. I guess some of them will... No. No, the music just restarted, yes. One raider somewhere in the colony is still left. Okay. Um, do you want to make a bunch? But do you have the raiders on the towers, like kind of snipe sniping down on the enemies? Like that was the general idea I had. But I think yes, at the moment the raiders sometimes like run in their own peril, like unnecessarily 
run to the raiders outside of the towers because they lose sight of them. Okay, I'm going to put a bunch of shields here. That, yeah, yeah, you, you guys are disbanded, by the way, back to regular duty. Um, hi, Toretti. Welcome to our stream. And they have a guard comment already. But I think the guard comment kinda... Like, I made it already pretty strict. But maybe we should make it like, uh... Unless he gets hit by maybe a melee attack, he will really stay put, absolutely. And the moment he gets hit by a melee attack, then he will start walking around, actually, only. Or maybe the... yeah, something like... So, our guard died because of arrow at a minus 117. So I guess that's where one of the Egyptians are still around. Um, so we're going to guard sleeping here. <laughs> where was it, some <laughs> <laughs> so Adams also got killed, I see. Down the mine. Oh, my Discord disconnected again. Oh, I can't see him. I didn't know how you did that, Sam Adams. That was like an easy kill. You just would have to step, stay one <laughs> level higher up and it would be fine. Yes, I think after this rallying code is done, I already said I wanted to look a little bit in the code of the guards. And one of the things would probably be able to kind of designate a guarding area and then they really do not leave this guarding area unless their health falls under a specific level or something like that. Um, yes, I am the one of the developers of the Mine Colonies um, <laughs> Minecraft mod, which adds a lot of um, very interesting gameplay play features to Minecraft which includes all these structures you're seeing here. It is all not player-made structures, by mod-made structures. And you can basically then manage a thriving colony within Minecraft. That's kind of adding like an RPG game, not a, no, not a uh, RPG, a real-time strategy game um, to Minecraft so that Getting, keeping citizens healthy and fat and resources in check can set up auto crafting and all kinds of neat different things and every everything a little bit more immersive than with tech mods because actually it's all people's doing stuff and people's need food and happiness and these kinds of things And there are raids as well, so while you get a bunch of nice citizens helping you, you also have to defend your colony against raiders. Um, yes, actually, it ex <laughs> the resource bag of the citizens is one of the things I wanted to release today in the update, but then it went not as expected. But that is going to be released in the next update. Uh, the medieval resource pack and those medieval citizens are then going to be available if you have your town hall style set to medieval. So even if you got like an Acacia town hall, you can just set the style. Like you change the style, you keep the actual house and it will switch the entire citizen styles to medieval after we released it i might make a short my colony shorts to 
um, town hall styles. If you have already a medieval one, you might also have to do that because there is currently a bug related to that. You will have to maybe just click build or upgrade quickly to do that. Or repair at least. Um, we find the bad again. We actually spent almost the entire Minecraft day fighting off those raiders. Um, that is actually a difficult question because I d was not the initial creator of Mind Colonies. I was an Italian guy that then started later on developing Android apps and he had the initial idea of having like extra types and not vanilla villagers. However, we did continue with that even after the rewrites and that's because we do not want to remove vanilla features. Like there are so many mods etc that interact with vanilla villagers and we do not want to actually be incompatible with mods. Like if mods are inco uh, not compatible with us it's usually because they change vanilla features. Like animal mods that change vanilla uh, entities are not compatible with us but not because we are not compatible with them that's actually a good question Inger 10 how old are vanilla villagers I uh, do not recall I don't remember them in the one point versions though so you actually might be right about that even Mine colonies exist since one one, I think. At least one point two point five, but as far as I know, even since one one. So it might actually be older than vanilla villagers themselves. You can always switch your town hall stall later. Just and um, sometimes it might need repositioning, so you might want to wait until my update of the repositioning. Which I'm only going to start making when the build system is online again. Okay. Hi, Lily. Right away. Oh, if they were added in 1.0, then Mine Colonies is not older than Vanilla Villagers. Mine Colonies is not that old. Ah, without function. Yes. And and good thing that we didn't override them. Another reason, like another obvious reason to not override them is because that causes a lot of headache for us. Because if you override something vanilla does, Every time vanilla updates that, it's going to be a major headache and being something more extra makes it much easier for us to handle. I need more food. Me too. Hope our cook is now protective again. I'm locked out of Discord. Um but besides like if the advantage of this mod is also that you can make your colony wherever you want it to be. You can not restrict it Anyone by vanilla villagers, so? like where a village is. You can do oh, it however you want it. Good enough for you? Huh? Too old? <laughs> well, uh, maybe. Okay. Um, let me bring some potato to the cook because I want some baked potatoes for sure oh, there are some bunch of them oops glass is not something I want to be baked into my potatoes there we go yeah there is Tectopia uh, of course. Yes, sir. that improves them already 
Okay. So a miner. We're going. <laughs> When I, I I still need time to get over why you're a kid. This is going to need a while. How's the work going? And having a totally manly voice. Okay. Yeah, my colonies is more about like the freedom of developing a colony where you set things where you want them to set them and create something with a bunch of other players on multiplayer servers and these kinds of things. Let us see what we can research here at the university. Uh -huh. um, we got the armor upgrade, for that we need the archery. Ah, we do have the combat academy thing. And I have enough wood with me too. I'm going to make five, wasn't it? Five. There we go. Combat. Yay, research started. There we go. What was the research? <laughs> so I started... Ah, that is a very useful uh, update because it means that actually guards are going to um, block a certain quantity of attacks when attacked. Like a certain quantity of attacks are just not going to deal any damage to them. So that's basically a decent percentage less damage they're going to earn. Like up to 25%, that's pretty neat, I think. Yeah, I'm wondering what's causing that. Did someone already um, report it to journey map? Because I guess if they don't know about it, they can't fix it either. Do you have some baked potato for me? Yay! Some at least. I need to take out a few more. Here. Oh, we're level 30 already. Uh, why didn't no one tell me? That went quick. Oh yeah, let me remove those. <laughs> that is a decent sized list of def points there we go is that better <laughs> okay um let me place those down so i got other two mending books i wanted to apply to my helmet and through this and those two have mending already yes great there we go this plus mending and this is unbreaking and protection plus mending great so that should make us much less squishy in the battles against the pirates as soon as they come up I can't wait for a nice a neat little pirate raid just to check out how that is going to turn out. Uh -huh. Yeah, the minimap looks a little bit cleaner now already. But the plague overlay journey map is having with the citizen names is still kinda weird. No, some add-ins, no. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, um, how is Chenny doing, by the way? Everyone is growing up, only Gwen isn't. Yes, he, he's he refusing. Black clay spruce shingle, okay. Black clay spruce shingle. 
We see if I have some spruce shingles I can die in our personal stash yet. Let's see if we can take care of that. Um, shingles. Slate? No. So I do have some spruce logs here. Um, spruce? Only three. So I'm going to get those in the warehouse. And clay. Neither clay? Nope. So I need those two things from the warehouse. I don't know how d how easy that is actually to handle have explosions happen without breaking blocks. Um, are there other mods that actually do that? So maybe we could use check how they handle that. Spruce. Um, can you bring me 64 of those? And some clay. Not shingles. Bricks. Play. What is brick? Um, here, that's just normal brick. It's called okay. So the sixty-four of that. Do we have that? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to smelt my own clay then. We do have 36 here. That's okay, I guess. I don't get too bad here. If, if you tell us exactly which mods you saw doing that, then we can actually check how, how they do that. Then we can actually try to replicate that in mine colonies. Um, I'm going to go to our smelter machine. I think we, I saw some brick there too. Yeah, but mine colonies already disables these things. But we do completely disable it and not only like partially smelt it here. Is there anything else useful here? Some iron ingots, that's good. Um, here. Okay. So I'm going to need some sticks and then I'm going to get the other things at the warehouse and I'm going to need, what is the name, ink sack, right? Ink sack, yes. Can you give me like eight of those? Great. Did he bring me? Yes, the spruce planks. Um, hi, Feral Wolf. But um, does um, Feed the Beast explosions actually have the explosions happen? Like, do the explosions actually harm the player? I'm even unsure if Feed the Beat utils are open source actually. Are you going to bring me my stuff? Bernard? Couldn't it wait till Monday? I wanted some ink sacks. Okay. I can I can maybe look into that. Um how they handle explosions. And we could see if we have creepers deal damage without actually blow griefing the entire area. The reason we did turn off that griefing was because that is an kind of easy way um, to grief colonies and we wanted to avoid that for all costs. Yay, another citizen level 5 finished. This is going neatly. Black die. So.
Let me see if those are actually enough for the builder. Right away! Okay. Is it enough actually of the slide? No, she needs 84 actually. Um, I do not have neither so much. I need more of those. Um, ink sack. Give me another two. Beta 4 really needs a lot of stuff. Actually more. Yes. I'm getting the lava bucket. Um, three and buckets you're just getting? Yeah, I need one more. Then I'm going to get some lava. And yeah, we're getting so lazy shuffling through all those racks in the warehouse. They're like, I'm just going to click there and wait for the delivery man to deliver it to me. Yes, my lord. Yeah. Stone brick stairs she needs now. I'm going to get the stone bricks and the stone brick stairs already. Meanwhile, I'm running. Jenny, I'm running. I'm bringing you the items you need. Um... Stone bricks. Okay, we still have some stairs here, so I can actually bring those stairs even. Mm -hmm. Was it delivered? Yes. And I can get the remainder of the things in a second too. It's really Stone brick What's stairs. It today, then? Here you go. Is it actually enough or do you need more stone brick stairs? We're going to need some slabs too. I'm making those two just in case. What's it today then? Here you go. And then I can get the remaining spruce shingles for her. Um it's actually not so difficult to add animated things like that. However, you need um, people to animate that for you. And the worst thing is it's actually, it causes a little bit of lag, which is why we have avoided those things. Besides, if I wanted to animate it, it would kind of escalate quickly. And I would want it to be actually somehow functional even. <laughs> and I'm avoiding to go down that rabbit hole. Yes, it would need a new block. Hi, Visionary. How are you doing? Um, again, sorry for the missing stream yesterday. As I said in the beginning of the videos, and most of you people didn't hear, I'm going to have trainings from now on, on Saturdays. So Saturdays is going to be our stream Whoa, free this looks fantastic. day What's basically. That? Yeah. Weekends again. Oh. Okay. So Saturdays I work out for my mental health. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get out of the house and do some physical exercise to get your body going else you get mad hey nice school level four definitely not time for a raid we just had a raid what did a video you want to a bunch of people are growing up Let me assign her to... I think we have a bunch of empty guard towers now. Check on those. Okay. Here. Yeah. 
one guard tower. And check through all the... Oh yeah, always. Fair parkour exempt are my, are my specialty. I'm not, not good at parkour, but I'm very good at being not good at parkour. Everyone has special talents and my special talent is being not good at parkour. At being, and now at being good at being not good at parkour. Another one here. Wow, those are growing up quickly. And again, did you yeah. see? Gwen still didn't grow up. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> what? what? Star Wars Christmas special never happened. No one knows of such one. Um, I'm going to download this week the world here. Or actually some add-ons could do that. You said you had a pretty empty list, didn't you? Mm, I never said that. <laughs> I just heard it. Didn't you guys hear that, that some add-on said he had an empty list? It needs more items on it. I could do it. Until he finishes the quarry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have to download the world and check what's going on with them. But I think you could simply download the colony data to check the Gwen. Yeah, that would already be helpful probably. Okay, I think most of our guard towers are actually full for a long time. So we can actually assign a few more. Wow, what is happening right now? A lot of our kids are growing up and wanting a job and they're preparing for a raid or what is happening. <laughs> okay. Okay, higher, higher. That one is fully hired now. That one is already fully hired. Okay, Annabelle, what are you doing? Higher, higher. We had one empty guard tower, by the way. Like yeah. All archers <laughs> of that guard tower died. <laughs> yeah, I think our rangers aren't using the armor really for some reason. Um, so we have to check into the archers a little bit. They're a little bit too squishy now, I have to say. Yeah, I think they aren't really equipping their armor. Aren't they? Or aren't we? I think they don't have any armor, actually. What is that? We oh, do yeah. not have it. But they're still a bit too... Like, of course, we should provide them better armor. But in Yeah, general, armor makes a lot of uh, difference. In armor fight. makes a huge difference. But I th yeah. still think that... At least making them smarter to stay on tower things. Yeah, they shouldn't just stay there and die. Eh? Normally they should retreat. I think we got that unlocked. Um, yes, we do. And um, these towers here in the mountain are to avoid that um, barbarians spawn from that direction on the mountain. It's because the algorithm of the barbarian follows the following way they search a place that is like the farthest out and if we have like those towers here and here at those corners you can see this is going to create kind of a safe zone where they're not going to spawn that is the reasoning behind it so you want to kind of spread out in all four directions buildings to avoid that they spawn within your walls Um, so I hear a lot of people eating in a restaurant. I guess that problem is solved now. Um, uh, so. so it's getting late already. I'm just a bit over time with the stream because I was meddling a little bit in the code before. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, do not forget to follow and or even subscribe if you enjoyed this. You can also support us on Patreon, which the link is in the description. Um, also, please join our community on Discord. That's the easiest way to get your questions and issues solved. Uh, if you have any other issue, you can easily hit us up on GitHub as well. Um, until then, I'm going to see you guys guaranteed tomorrow. See ya and good night, everyone.